Now, Seoul and Washington signed their bilateral free trade deal in 2007, and it later came into effect in 2012. And today marks six years since the FTA was adopted. Taking a closer look at all the numbers for us is our Kim Hesung. It's been exactly six years since the South Korea-U.S. free trade agreement entered into force on March 15, 2012. According to Seoul's trade ministry, bilateral trade has increased steadily, amounting to 119.3 billion U.S. dollars in 2017, up nearly 9 percent on year. The U.S. remains South Korea's second largest exporting country after China, accounting for over 11 percent of the country's total trade last year. Exports to the U.S. amounted to $68.6 billion, led by petrochemical goods, computers, and steel pipes. But Korea's top three exporting goods, like vehicles and wireless devices, dropped compared to the previous year. Korea is the United States' sixth largest trading partner. Imports from the U.S. increased over 17 percent on year, amounting to $50.7 billion in 2017, led by goods like semiconductor manufacturing equipment, LPG, and meat. Since the trade deal went into effect in 2012, annual trade growth between the two countries recorded 2.8 percent. Korea's trade surplus with the U.S. increased for four years from the establishment of the FTA, but started to decrease from 2016. In 2017, trade surplus slumped by over 23 percent on year. As for services trade, it recorded $43.2 billion in 2016, similar to 2015, and Korea recorded a service trade deficit of nearly $14 billion, mainly on intellectual property. But with President Trump threatening to revise or withdraw from the FTA last year, complaining about the trade deficit, the two countries launched talks earlier this year about a possible amendment to the deal. The third round of talks is scheduled to be held in Washington on Thursday local time. Kim Hye-sung, Arirang News.